Hi guys, what's up? My name is Sarah and this is Planet Sarah. My voice actually sounds like 10 times better than it did when I first woke up. I had to go get a drink and eat before I started filming today because I literally couldn't speak. Now I just sound like a 12 year old boy going through puberty, so. I don't know when Thanksgiving is. Is that soon? Like, in November? I don't know when Thanksgiving is. Obviously, I'm British. I don't celebrate it, so I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's episode 7 today. It's called The Ice Storm. I'm pretty sure Roberto was teasing that for a while. The weather turns frightful as Riverdale celebrates Thanksgiving with a not-so-cheery series of tense conf confrontations and twisted revelations. Now, I'm really hoping that it's alluding towards Tony's backstory, but we all know that's not happening, so... Clowns! Also, do not comment on my hair. I'm balding and I'm trying to stop it from happening. So this is going to be the situation going on right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Because I'm reacting to the entire season, even when I'm sick like this. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to press play now. Also, my dogs are fine. They're being fed. They're having their lunch. Why do they look so scared? No, I'm scared. Also, Molly, I was watching Breakfast Club this morning at like 4am. So, maybe that's why I'm sick. Do you know something I want to talk about real quick? There's nothing to go about at all. Victorious. Oh yeah, last week she hit him with Jesus. Iconic. Ariana, Liz Gillies and Matt Bennett, they performed at Ariana's concert doing a Victorious song. Amazing. Oh, wait, that's cute. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? That was archive footage of who? It was the first Thanksgiving without his father. Mm. The void that Fred Andrews left was as cold as the winds that were blowing through the town. Hiram Lodge had run unopposed, allowing him to ascend to power virtually over. Wait, he literally just got Meanwhile, the mayor's position. Now that our boy Dodger is still, <gasps> we'll find whoever did this to him. It's her. Yeah, it's what the, the hell are you talking about? She's the what one from like the first season, 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 season. The one with the shady guy and then she like said she was gonna like poke her eyes out or something and she was like, Honey, I got a gang behind me. <coughs> Seriously? You guys are cooking? Hell yeah. And my mom. And grandma. So tell your friends there's an open door policy. Everyone is invited. I think this community center idea is really cute, like I hope you all have a It's actually something positive in Riverdale, but we all know because it is Riverdale, it's not gonna end positive. He did die! Oh my god, but Chippy actually died! This guy drive him to suicide. This isn't... Why was this necessary? I love Betty's bed, like I want it. So bad. Her room is so cute. These two get off on like some weird things. Is this guy like in love with Jughead or something? That's the vibe I'm getting. That outfit. How is doing her finished? wonders. Whilst the rest of Riverdale sits down to give thanks, we'll be dumping Bedford's body in Sweetwater River just before it freezes over. By the time spring thaw comes around, the salmon will have gobbled up his eyes. <laughs> Why are you still with this woman? Tony, Tony killed somebody. For Cheryl. Can we just remember? She's in a gang Cheryl. before. Yeah. She probably killed someone before. Ronnie, Why is she getting so upset about this? Why would you let a met like so somebody who's a criminal so become mayor? I mean, when it's the same for president too, but. But I know what I would do if I was in your place. Screw him. Yes, mate. If he gets permission from an officer, then surely he should be allowed. You know. I wonder what trouble this is gonna cause. Every episode, I sound like I hate Riverdale. I don't necessarily hate it. I'm just always confused. Okay. Don't come for me. See, now every time I see Lily, I mean, every time I see Betty and Jughead, I see Lily and Cole. Well, okay then. I don't know why everyone's so like hyped about Phallus. I'm kind of uncomfortable when I look at them. Hermione, girly, you're dressed fabulous, but like, your situation, not so much. <laughs> Puppy! Yes, Veronica, storm out of there! Am I gonna cry this episode? 
parked down the road spying on us. There's a family legend Nana Rose shared with me. A tale so gruesome, it will turn on Cricket's hair white. I used to love Cheryl's scenes. Now I'm uncomfortable every single time. They're both going insane. How do you get someone to do something they don't want to do? Blackmail, right? Yep, we know that. <laughs> well, this is the part where we get back in bed and order Chinese food. I want Chinese food right now. I wanted Chinese food for days, like weeks. Like, I always want Chinese food. <laughs> Are you seriously that dressed up for a diner? I mean, you do you, girl, but... This is cute. Why would he be spending Thanksgiving in the school? Why didn't he go home for it? <gasps> Ew. Oh my god. Yes, Betty! I saw him sneak past the door. <laughs> she annoys me, but I'm like in love with her. Like, <laughs> she's just so beautiful. I'm talking about like, what's her name? Like, Donna or whatever her name is. Not Betty, but I mean Betty too. Oh, so all this warm food. I'm hungry. Okay. Okay. Ew. This is what everyone in like my area looks like. Excuse me, guys. Uh, help yourself to some hot chocolate or cider. Dinner will be ready in a bit. Ash is so sweet, but like these people are here to like, I don't know, kill. Well, maybe next time don't threaten my boyfriend with an axe. <laughs> I love Betty. Her progression, like her character development, is amazing. Saddens me greatly to realize. She's so confusing. One episode she likes her cat, the next she doesn't. Well, that dress, this. incredible. She's so not in red, it's great. The she scares me. Because she kissed Veronica. Why is he so shocked, creep? Never have I ever been in a gang. Really? But you look so sweet. Oh, well, I'm not as sweet as you might think. <laughs> Neither is she. She's snooping in what's her name? Donna's room. Ew. Oh, it's a key. Because keys are so mysterious. Okay, that one actually is. They look the same age. Well, we all know he's not gonna die, so happy Thanksgiving! The turkey's gonna blow. <laughs> if I say it, you'll let everyone else here go. I already spilt all my tears over my son. And boy, your mother's gonna find out exactly what that feels like. Whatever. The tacky blue. I, how is the tacky? Oh my god! <gasps> yes! Yes, honey! Who in the right mind tries to deep fry a turkey inside? <laughs> I'm gonna make this clear, Hiram. I'm not your puppet, this matter. Squash him! Go for it. Do it! Turned on one another. Cannibalism? 
Why, I can only imagine what a scandal like that would do to our family name. I ate my brother Julian in the womb, and you're eating those meat pies we prepared especially for you. I think that's so funny because Madeleine's a vegan. <laughs> and I swear Vanessa was for like a long time too. Is this Uncle Bedford's ring? Why did he call him Uncle Bedford when he's his dad? It's time for dessert. Have just committed a vile act of cannibalism. Knock on my door. What the heck is this? Why? What? No. Would you like me to pack up the rest of Bedford for you and Tubway? What is this? Why is that a storyline? Cheryl Blossom is not a cannibal. <laughs> That's what my niece calls um camels, which is hilarious. So Cheryl Blossom is not a camel. <laughs> Why is she in Mosh? Is she like his daughter or something? Hey, we were having an affair. <gasps> daughter or something. <laughs> Ew! Why? The next day he jumped over and told him if he didn't stop, I'd go to the headmaster and then. The next day he jumped out of a window. Something else, I'm a serpent. Gully, that was a bit of a heavy load. Yeah, what happened to the serpents? They just like disappear. I do feel some kind of peace. By morning, Sweetwater River will have frozen over, and Aunt Cricket and Cousin Fester will be back in whatever ring of hell they typically inhabit. Cheryl tried to kill herself in. We have nothing to worry about but ourselves. I just said I love you. I was like, oh my god, and then I. I love you. <laughs> I'm so grateful to you. When the first time she said I love you, I was like, oh my god, and then I'm like, <laughs> I've been the perfect opportunity to talk about it. That's just this whole time, Mr. creepy. Was a bad <laughs> oh my god! He believed in that. Nasty. Oh Lord, for these the gifts which bless us. Oh Lord, for these the gifts which we're about to receive. Our family, thank you for this food. Amen. Amen. For our friends, we thank you. Amen. Dig in, everyone. I'm grateful to be alive and to be here with you. Closely. Oh, I love that there's going to be like little tributes to Luke, like, all the time. Like, it's about, not just the one Project episode, it's consistent. Oh. I mean, she looks fabulous, but also, <laughs> we don't know if we can trust her, so. To that bit, then they're gonna be like, oh. See, but if she confesses to that bit, then they're gonna be like, oh, okay. And then they're gonna, like, leave it. When he knows there's something else going on. Devil horse on him then. Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, draw devil horse on him then. What is she doing? What's she trying to figure out? Without a doubt, the Wait, why, why is he, like, a suspect or something? Like, why did he cross out? Like... Your dad. It's your dad watching out for us. Mm -hmm. Everything you've been building here. <gasps> Yay! I'm so proud. That's a really nice picture. Oh, that was a sweet way to end the episode after like what the heck just happened. I think it was a sweet episode, like it wasn't as like crazy, I guess. I mean Riverdale. <laughs> I mean, Cheryl and Tony pretending to be cannibals. Um. <laughs> Betty and Jughead, they're uncovering a new mystery at the school, which I'm kind of excited about. The Fred situation, I loved it, adorable. Um, the fried turkey thing. Who fries a turkey, first of all? 
it helped them in the end. I don't really have much else to say about this episode. It was pretty weird. It was chill though. It wasn't like a, it wasn't very intense. I, I'm okay with it. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, if you'd like to tell me what you thought of the episode or something about my reaction, you can tell me down below or you can tweet me at rockpaperposy or go to my Instagram at manessaxshoney. You can also subscribe to my channel because I am reacting to the entire season. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. My name is Sarah and this has been Planet Sarah.